Hi everyone, Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games and today we're going to talk a little bit more in our series of videos about the races of 40k. So uh, today, Chaos Space Marines. So, Chaos Space Marines, where do they come from? Well, in the 30,000th millennium, the Emperor, the, the Emperor of Mankind, created his 20 Primarch Sons, the, uh, the superhuman leaders of the, of the human race, armies, basically. Uh, and uh, so many of them, nine of them, in fact, turned against uh, the rest. So as we discussed previously, two of them have just been written out of history for whatever reason, Games Workshop are letting us make our own mind up about those. Uh, and nine of the Primarchs, led by Horus, turn against the Emperor and the other nine loyal Primarchs. So Horus, uh, the War Master, he's the Primarch of the, the Lunar Wolves, the Sons of Horus, uh, and they then became, later on, the Black Legion, which are a, a faction of Chaos Space Marines. Now, the nine traitor legions, as they become called, is uh, they're, they're the precursors to the Chaos Space Marines. So these huge armies of power-armoured uh, Space Marines uh, attacked Earth. Eventually, they worked their way back in and decided that they are going to attack the Emperor on Earth and they uh, they assaulted the loyalist factions and then got sent with their tail between their legs back into the Eye of Terror which is the um, rift into the warp storms of, of space where they uh, escaped onto demonic worlds and bided their time for coming back and trying to get the Emperor and all the, uh, the loyalist factions uh, back for good in the future. So what have we got? We've got uh, space marines that are slowly warped over time by the entities of chaos and uh, infested with demonic power, uh, turning them a bit mad in a lot of cases. And so their armor's warped and they get horns and spikes and you know, all the cool stuff that like evil people like to get. Uh, that's what the that's what like chaos is all about. So we've got different factions within chaos, but the what we've got represented here in this start collecting box are kind of vanilla chaos, if you like. The eightfold path. These are the uh, chaos undivided, as you as you uh, may hear. So what we've got in this particular box. This is a, a start collecting chaos space marines box. So this is. Um, uh, a great starting point for if you're going to start out with a generic Chaos Space Marine army and then you can have smaller subunits of specific factions like Plague Marines or Thousand Suns Sorcerers or Corn Berserkers or whatever but this is really your, uh, your starting point for a new army. What comes in this box is a squad of 10 Chaos Space Marines. So you can use these as one squad of 10 or two squads of five. Uh, and these models in this box are easy to build. So that means they're single pose. They may have one or two options on the sprues. You might be able to change a weapon or a head here or there, but they are pretty much uh, as they come depicted on the box. So you've got 10 Chaos Space Marines with a variance of uh, close combat weapons and heavy weapons, like this guy here with the uh, auto cannon. You get a character, the Master of Possessions. So that's this dude with the uh, skull horny thing and the flamey accessories on his backpack because chaos loves flames and horns and all that kind of jazz uh, so he is a powerful uh, sorcerer type that leads your army and he gives bonuses to other parts of your army depending on how close they are to him in the game uh, the other thing that we've got here we've got two obliterators so these are uh, chaos space marines that have been merged with a demonic presence that manifests various weaponry on their uh, on their limbs uh, at will seemingly so if they need a huge laser cannon to blow a hole in a, a bulkhead door then it'll manifest a huge demonic cannon and it'll blast a hole in that and then if they need some great close combat claws to tear somebody apart then they can morph into that as well now obviously you pay a little bit of points wise for this tactical flexibility, but they're an awesome unit and currently only available in this box. Uh, the other thing that you've got here are the Greater Possessed. So you've got two of these guys back here and these are huge uh, close combat orientated demonic warriors. 
And then at the back here, you've got a uh, Venom Spitter, a Demon Engine. So this is a war machine that's been imbued with the spirit of a, de a Chaos Demon from the one of the realms of Chaos. And this thing is going to be totally mental. Just charge around the battlefield, spitting fire and like raining bullets down on your opponents and what have you and various other things within your army can make that a little bit harder there's a character called the um, vex machinator he's a special character that can give bonuses and buffs to this thing and um, and various other war machines that you may find in your army so demonic engines like this thing the forge thing so this is another demonic engine a lot bigger uh, this is one of the other models that you can buy for a Chaos Space Marine Army. So imagine that this is uh, about the size of a tank. It's got huge cannons. It's got this massive like toothed maw that it can just spit destruction at your opponents. So that's a that's an awesome add-on to a Chaos Space Marine Army. Uh, with a lot of the 40k factions, Games Workshop have now pro produced um, tailored scenery that really gives buffs to other things in your army. Uh, and for the Chaos Space Marines, they have this Stargate looking Noctilith crown. So anybody that remembers Stargate from their childhood on uh, Trash TV can remember uh, this kind of thing. This is, this is pretty awesome. So on the back here, you can get a good idea of how size, uh, the size of the figure. So a Chaos Space Marine is about actually the size of that, that guy there. And this thing's like a, a huge spiky uh, portal that you can issue forth more of your troops and demons and whatever you want to the battlefield. Looks awesome. And then, if you want the, uh, the ultimate, ultimate uh, manifestation of uh, chaos destruction, you want this guy, Abaddon the Destroyer. So Abaddon is a special character. He's the favoured son of Horus. So Horus was killed by the Emperor uh, as part of the Horus Heresy, which was the like whole war from the chaos, the traitor legions against the loyalist space marines and emperor empire. Uh, so the emperor, spoiler alert, slays Horus in the final battle, uh, and Abaddon is rumored to be Horus's clone son. So he's taken uh, the Talon of Horus, which is this huge spiky claw thing that he's got here. So this is like one of his clone fathers. Uh, adornments of his battle armor so he's taken that for himself he's a hulking manifestation of chaos imbued by the power of all the chaos gods he's their champion so he's just led the 13th black crusade into the empire in the 41st millennium uh, caused the what's it called the maledictus rift i think it is or something like that uh, across the Imperium is destroyed space as we know it. Um, this guy is a monster in the game. He can just like stomp through units undefeated. He can only take so much damage a turn. He's just an absolute beast. So this is the guy you want if you want to uh, seriously inflict some damage on your opponent. So, Chaos Space Marines. Chaos Space Marines are awesome. They were my first 40k faction that I ever played. Uh, I had a bit of a colour, uh, poor choice of colour. I painted my guys all gold. I thought it looked really cool if I painted them all gold. And now I look back on them and they were horrendous. Okay, but like definitely the new style colour scheme that these guys have got, black with gold trim on their armour, I think they look pretty cool. Pretty cool. So if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and we'll try and get to them. If you'd like to see uh, more content or you've got a faction that you would like to talk us, like us to talk about next, then uh, please let us know and hope you like the video subscribe to the youtube channel press the thumbs up and all the belly things down below thanks for watching have a great day